Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking glass mutating shape using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to create a new composition. And for this composition, we're gonna go with the square. So I'm going with the 1080 by 1080, 25 frames, 10 second duration composition. Then just press okay. So once you've got that, the next thing that you need to do is you need to grab your ellipse tool. You need to make sure that you've set a fill. I'm just leaving my color as white and I've just made sure that I've turned off my stroke. Once you've done that, then you can hold shift and you can actually draw an ellipse on your composition. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna align it to the center of that comp. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an effect which is called four color gradient. So I'm gonna put that in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change all of these colors. So I'm gonna to go to color hunt for my colors and I'm choosing this neon color palette over here. So all I'm gonna do is import all of these colors into the four color gradient effect into After Effects. Cool. So now that we've got all of our colors inside of our lips, now we have to animate them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we're on the first keyframe over here. And then I'm just gonna click on 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0.4. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move forward in time two seconds, and then I'm gonna shift all these points to the left or to up and down, or you, you'll get what I mean once I start doing it. So the first point, I'm just gonna grab it, move it over to here. The second point, I'm gonna move that up. The third point over here, now it doesn't even have to be that accurate. And the fourth point over there. So now if I press U on my keyboard, you can see that I've created all of these keyframes. And so we're gonna repeat that for one whole circle or evolution of all of those colors. So I'm gonna move forward to four seconds and then repeat the process again. So that's one point. Here's another point, move the next one, and then move the final one. Then I'm gonna go forward to six seconds and do the same thing again. So move it over, move this one up here, move this one over here, and this one down here. And then we've done that four times. So one, two, three. And the last one is going to reset back to what we had. So I'm just gonna copy those keyframes. So if you're on Mac, it's Command C. If you're on Windows, it's Control C. And then just Command V to paste. And now if you scrub through that, you can see that the colors are all rotating nicely. And that's looking pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight all of those keyframes and I'm just gonna hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows. And I'm just gonna drag it out to about 10 seconds just so that we fill up our duration for that composition. And so that's looking really good and now we can add a bit more effects to it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna pre-compose that. So we're gonna right click and go pre-compose and I'm just gonna call it shape. So now that we have our ellipse, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a layer style to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to layer styles, bevel and emboss. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come down here to the bevel uh, and emboss options and I'm gonna change a few things. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the size to about 30 and I'm going to bring up the softness to about let's say 16. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change these two colors, the highlight color and the shadow color. So you can see what's happening over here. And so I'm gonna go back to color hunt and get some colors for that. So I'm gonna use this pink. So now I've put the pink as the highlight color and that's looking pretty good down there. Now I just need to change the shadow color. So now that I've got that, now you can play around with some of these settings, but now this gives a nice, you know, there's a pinkish orange kind of shadowy, it just keeps with the colors all going together. So that's looking pretty good. So now we can move on to the next step. So the next step now is to add some turbulent displace. So if I look for an effect called turbulent displace, I can find it and I can change some of these settings. So I need to bump up the displacement or the amount to about 150 and I'll keep the size at also 150 as well. Now you can experiment with some of these settings. Uh, you can change them however you like. Um, and I'm also gonna bump up the complexity to about 1.5. Now, once you've done that, it's still, the only thing that moves is the colors. So now we have to make it move. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the evolution options and we're gonna come down here to evolution options. 
and what we're gonna do is we're just going to animate the evolution so i'm just gonna click on the stopwatch move to the end of the composition and just change that to one and so now you will see that now we've got this kind of gooey ball like shape coming out and that's looking pretty good so if you don't like any of those holes or anything like that you would just have to go back and change or maybe just lower the amount a little bit just so that you don't see any so just scrub through and see if you see any holes in your shape so also while we're here we're just gonna bump up the random seed so maybe we'll just bring that up to 10 in case you were gonna have a few duplicate copies of this so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add another effect here and we're gonna call it CC glass so we're gonna look for that and I'm just gonna bring up the surface and I'm gonna change the softness to about 80 and so now if you've done that correctly now you've got this cool glass looking kind of effect on this gradient shape so now now we've got this in a 1080 square so now what we need to do is we need to go back to our project uh, settings and we're going to add a new composition so this time it's going to be 1920 by 1080 pixels duration of about 10 seconds and we're just going to press ok and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag my shape in there so now i'm just going to put my shape on the side over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to come down and create a new solid i'm just going to call it background and i'm just going to drag it underneath my composition and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for an effect which is the gradient ramp and so the colors again i'm just going to get them from color hunt and then once i've done that then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start the ramp over here and i'm just going to end the ramp over here so it's going to be like a diagonal so the final thing that we need to do is we just need to come back to our comp and we're just going to add some drop shadow to that shape so i'm just going to bump up the distance just so that we can see it a bit and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring up the softness just so that we get a small little shadow on the side and that's looking pretty good so the final thing that we can do is we can add some text in here so i'm just going to come over here and just add new text and i'm just going to write elegant and then i'm going to move it over and obviously i'm going to make it a bit smaller so now i've got my text there i'm just going to dump the text underneath the comp just so that you can see that and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate that so Control d or command d and i'm just going to call that shape and so the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to add an evaporation preset to this so i'm just going to come over here and search for evaporate and then i'm going to firstly i'm going to make sure that i'm at the start of my composition i'm just going to drag it to the elegant and so now if we scrub through that that's looking pretty cool but i'm going to press u to bring up my keyframes and i'm just going to reverse this so i'm going to bring that keyframe from the front and i'm going to put that keyframe from the back and so now if you do that you will see the text actually come in and so i'm going to do the same for the shapes word as well so i'm just going to come over here press u so i can see my keyframes and then just reverse them just like that and so now if we preview that now we've got the words coming in and that's looking pretty good so the final thing that we can do here is we can just add a new adjustment layer and the only effect that i'm going to run on here is noise so i'm just going to put some noise on maybe 10 percent something like that and now that really ties it all together so anyways guys Thanks for watching this quick and short tutorial on how to create an elegant mutating glass looking shape. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.